and I was talking about little kids, they just want an answer. So I mentioned my daughter who's three and a half years older than Allie. So when Allie was born, she was in preschool. She was three and a half and or four at this time. And I would you know, drop her over preschool. And of course, I've got Allie in the baby carrier and she had a cleft lip that wasn't repaired until she was um, six months old. So that's an obvious facial difference that you know, in addition to her hand and feet anomalies. And so I remember you know, a young preschool classmate saying, what happened to your sister's face? And so Morgan at four was like, what? It's just her cleft lip. And they're like, oh, okay. And, you know, run off and play. So, I mean, they want an answer. You know, it can be a, and we had always taught Morgan, like, just answer it honestly. Um, it's not a boo-boo. It's not an accident. It's, it's a cleft lip. That's what it is. And move on. So, um, you know, even at a young age, kids can be, and can answer things about themselves honestly. You know, it's a, it's a missing tooth. It's my pointy tooth. It's my special tooth. Whatever it is that, they're, that they think might be pointed out, um, give an answer. And then most cases, it, it changes when they get older. But with little kids that age, they say, oh, okay, you know, move on.